Good day, everyone. Tim from Timber Visions here. So today I have a little uh, project with the tractor. I already dug some of this dirt out here and then spread it out in the rest of the lot. What I want to do is spread this road gravel in this area because I basically want like a gravel driveway area here right next to my cement driveway because this is where I plan to put up a lean-to type building to keep my, my bulk firewood in for winter time. And I want it to be on something that drains very well, like this road gravel, and it's also firm even in the spring. Because um, in the spring here, when the snow melts, it can get a little bit slimy. Um, I saw that this past spring over at the wood lot and also in this lot here. So I want something that's nice and solid that I can drive the tractor on when I'm bringing bulk bags of firewood up to be brought inside for heating in our house. So I took this down like four inches or so. It's not like perfectly level or anything. Um, I'm not building a house or a garage or anything here. It's just a driveway, okay? So, like I said, I took it about four inches down and then it's about 14 inches wide and length from front to back. So I'm planning to bring it all the way up pretty much to the sidewalk. That's gonna be uh, about 45 foot. So I use my Omni calculator. You can uh, get that app or you can go to the website and you can put those dimensions in and what media you're using and it'll tell you about how much uh, gravel you need. So with my dimensions, I put an average of four inches, some places it's six, some places it's less, uh, but I figured four inches uh, average. And with those dimensions, it gave me 11 point some tons of gravel. So I ordered 12 and they brought 13. So I do have extra or should have extra. And I'd rather have more than not enough because I can always uh, find some place for the rest of this to go. But I'm gonna hop in the tractor here and we're gonna spread this gravel out in this area and basically bring it level up with where the driveway is, maybe a little bit below, but this should be a nice, area that drains well and doesn't uh, get all slimy in the spring. So stick with me, I'll hop in the tractor, put the bucket on, drop the forks, put the bucket on and we'll get to spreading this.
So there are some parts here that I'm just gonna have to use a shovel. And that's okay. Imagine if I did all this by hand, how many days that would take. <laughs> that would be a process. A tractor is a pretty handy tool to have around. So I didn't get quite level with the cement, but it's not a huge drop off, so I think it'll be all right. So probably a good thing that they brought an extra ton way this looks now and if I do need to get some more you know just a couple ton I can always take the baby dump truck but take a look at our final product here not too bad like I said you stand way back and you kind of get a better idea of where you're high and stuff. Hard to see all that when you're in the tractor. So there's kind of a big hump over here, but that material can be spread out there and into here. Along here, it's not, not too bad. Maybe just spread it this way overall. And this will pack and settle over time. I've had this garden rake pretty much my adult, my entire adult life. It's been around for a while. Done a lot of projects together. But well, I'm thinking in this area here, pretty much from that corner up about eight foot and then over 14 foot is where I want to put a building in. So It might be. I might start from here. We'll see. Or back a little bit. Just so I got a little room behind here. Um, yeah, I might go from just right over here. And it's just going to be a basic uh, lean-to type building. Um, and then I can park my bulk firewood bags in there for my use for heating the house in the winter time I still have a natural gas furnace so it's not like I rely on that the wood but I try to I try to heat as much as I can with firewood and saves on natural gas plus I just love the heat I get from firewood compared to natural gas it's uh, just a nicer heat um, 
I don't know, hard to explain. Plus you got the, uh, the fire in the house, the smell. You know, some people don't like the smell of burning wood. I love the smell of burning wood, especially in my house, because it smells like dollar bills to me. It's money, <laughs> money being saved. That's what it smells like to me. But, but yeah. There'll be more work to do, obviously, but got her spread out good. It's a little bit of hand tool work and maybe do a couple more passes with the box blade to pull that material up this way or push it one or the other. I'll probably push it. Since I can't drive through over here, I'll just push it and then drag it back. But I do want to thank everyone for stopping in and watching this video. Like I said, I'm not an expert with the box blade. I know I have that angled way back. So if this is the front of the box blade, it's back like this. And that, from what I've learned, is better for spreading. If you wanted to dig, you'd go more like this then the uh, scarifiers and dig in more. And then this blade on the bottom, that C-shaped blade is also gonna grab and roll the material up. I didn't want to do that here. I wanted to spread it, so that's why it was back like this. So then the back edge of that C, so basically this is the back side. now this is the front. It's just back drain. So similar to putting the bucket down an angle and then back dragging so it's really good for just dragging it out it's all i needed to do with this sand and gravel is just drag it out didn't really want to dig it just wanted to move it and it works really good for that so like i said a little bit more farting around to do here but basically you got the idea of what i'm trying to do here and then when i do put up the building I'll bring you guys back for that as well probably just uh, be sitting on um, cement pylons or whatever it's not not gonna be something that's anchored to the ground because it's basically just a lean-to to keep the snow and rain off the firewood when it's sitting here um, once it's here it's seasoned ready to go so I don't really have to worry about um, making sure it gets plenty of sunlight to dry because before it sits here, it's gonna be ready to go. But the sides might be enclosed, but the front and the back will be open. So there'll be plenty of wind to blow through there. Um, that's the plan anyway. Still gotta finalize how I wanna build it but it's all gonna be built with wood that I've milled myself with the Woodland Mills sawmill. So, you know, saves money. Plus those trees that I sawed up were just gonna be burnt anyway. So I'm just saving that from being wasted that way and utilized for something like this. And then the wood will be uh, treated the same stuff I put on my trailer deck that ready seal like an oil and it penetrates into the wood and protects it because I believe this is going to be built out of ash which is a it's a good hard wood and it's strong but it doesn't hold up to weather the way that like white oak or cedar does so but that's a totally different uh totally different video
So if that's something that you're interested in though, consider subscribing because that will be coming in the future. Um, it's August now, winter is coming, you know. Um, and it's a nice cool day, it's a good day to be out working, so that's what I'm doing. So I do wanna thank you for stopping in and watching this video. Consider giving a like, sub subscribe if you want. And until next time, be safe brothers and sisters.